this is PS Sim Gamer, and I am here with you today to talk through this week's, or should I say, last week's um, production chains. And I've picked out some of my favourites to show you. We had a busy week. Um, and I'm going to start with one of my absolute favourites. I'm using it in my Let's Play Now on Griffin, Indiana. It is the Sheep mod. Um, and we haven't had... We have had a couple of mods, of course, for, um, for animals. Quite a lot, in fact, for the pens. Um, but this one is particularly interesting because it brings with it some new options. And you know how much I love new options when it comes to production chains. Yes, you heard it. So, this is the Dairy Sheep Pack. It's by Urshaba. It's 5.29 megabytes to download. And this is the first version. So, what is in this pack? So, it is a pack. And this is what is excites me the most. So, in this pack, you will have the opportunity to care for and feed sheep and produce milk. With sheep's milk, you can produce high-quality sheep cheese. Yes, sheep cheese, guys. You heard it here. Now, there are three options available to you, okay? Now, the one I'm standing in front of here is the largest. It is the largest. Um, it is nine slots on console. It can hold 120 sheep, and they obviously can be fed grass and hay. The water is automatically plumbed in on these ones, so you do not need to worry about that at all, okay? They just sit in this nice area here and uh, do their thing. Now, as you probably saw, if you are watching my Let's Plays, um, the milk doesn't come out like you would expect it to. It actually just here, it comes out on pallets. And those pallets, you actually do need to use a tanker to pick those up, okay? You do need a tanker. Now, it's very simply, it's a nice place for you to store here. Um, you've got nice entry points, incredible lighting, exceptional quality. There's another door here, just to a little control point. Um, but again, wonderful quality. So I've got a little bit of hay, uh, sorry, grass, a grass bell here to show you how this works. You just drive to the tipper point. Oh, I just need to lift that up. I apologise, everyone. Drop that in. And that automatically will start filling. So my suggestion is always to leave some bales in this trigger point so it will automatically update your feeder. Uh, so here is the uh, open dialogue for the animals. And you can purchase them very easily, as usual. The only thing to remember is these ones will not produce wool. These are just going to be producing the milk. So anything you knew before about whether sheep produce more wool or eat more goes out the window. Um, so we're going to buy one of each just to show you. Close the door, we don't want them escaping now. And here they are. Very happy, very, very happy. Now let's move on to the other ones because if you don't have uh, this, one, this one, I apologize. This one is actually quite reasonable 75,000 to download. So I think that's a pretty good price for a pen, if I'm honest. Moving on to the next one down, this is 39,000. Yep, 39,000. This can hold 60 sheep, so it holds half the capacity. Um, again, the nice thing about this one is the water is plumbed in, so you see here, the water is there. Trigger points in exactly the same place. The spawn location is over here, though, this time for the, for the milk. Little storage spot there if you need it. Same options to go in and back out 
this is slightly smaller. I've tried to put them next to each other so you can see. It's a slightly smaller area, but it is half of the sheep, so that's quite obvious. Uh, this is nine slots on console. So, again, quite impressive, the large one being ten slots and this being nine slots. And I believe they go down, so if you want to put your next one down, yeah, that goes to one slot on console. So very good. Very, very good. And last but definitely not least, not to be discounted at all, because this one's only two slots on console, and this holds 30 sheep. So again, it's half of the, the last one. Um, the only difference, major difference, I would say, apologies, is you do need to add water in. Okay, this is a pasture, which, you know, traditionally needs water. Trigger point for the food goes right here. So again, take the recommendation, keep this area full and it will always keep this full, keeping them productive. And the animal trigger point is here. Um, and spawn point for your milk is here. So really, really excellent. Now let me go to show you um, I'll just put it here and then we'll go and have a look at the production plants. I'll see you in a moment. And we're back and I thought I'd start with the milk tanker. So this milk tanker is comes in the pack. It is uh, it holds 10,000 litres um, and it is specifically for um, milk and uh, milk full stop. It can actually what I'm very grateful for is it also takes cow's milk. So not only sheep milk, but cow's milk. So that is excellent. I'm very happy about that. Um, now, moving around the corner, I have placed for you the two other items which come in this pack. Um, we have the cell point. Now, let me just pop up the information for the cell point. Apologies, this is a, a lot of information all at once. So, I'm having to take screenshots and get the information as quick as I can. Okay, so this one is, um, you can find it in the, uh, so you go to productions and cell points. It's 15,000 to place. It is 12 slots on console. And apparently you can sell both cheeses here. So the cheese from the sheep and the cheese from the cows. Just having a very quick look around. It's quite a nice building. I suppose it's very American, I would probably say. I like how it's. it looks a little bit beaten up around the edges. Um, and then this is the drop-off point for you to sell. So, this isn't as nice as this building, which is the production point. So, this one you can find in productions and factories. It is, is that 60,000? Yes, 60,000 to pay for. It is 17 slots on console, and this does just take... Um, the sheep's milk so this doesn't take the cow's milk just the cheese milk um <laughs> cheese milk <laughs> sheep milk and it produces cheese so quite simply you drop your milk off into the uh, containers and around here is the manage point so as you can see it is just sheep cheese um quite good cycles a month i feel it is quite expensive per month it's 240 pounds a month so what i would suggest is store up some sheep milk before you put this down or build up the amount of sheep you have to make it worthwhile so that's three liters of um sheep milk makes two liters of cheese which i was actually quite impressed with i think that's a good ratio um so that is the sheep mod the sheep pack i i like this one guys i really do um so let's move on to the next production chain that i wanted to show you from last week and i am back 
in front of you, you will see the Forage Factory. Um, this is by LSMT Modding Team. It is 2.98 megabytes to download. And yeah, I've put it up near my um, sheep and cows because I think I might keep this one, you know. So, what is included? Just so that you're aware, when you go to look for this piece of kit, it's actually called TMR Factory, not Forage Factory, in the production chains and factories. So first things first, just know that, because um, I was searching for a Forage Factory amongst all of my mods, and I couldn't find it. I couldn't find it. Um, so there you go. A little tip. Um, really nice buildings, quite large. It's quite large. But what it does is a lot more significant, I think, than the other mods which are available. Um, let me show you. It keeps it nice and simple, which I like. Often there are so many different options, but this does keep it simple and it keeps it to the recipe true to its word. Um, so to make total mix ration, as you know, it's silage, it's grass, it's mineral feed and it's straw. So, quite simply, 25, 25, 5, 45. So it's interesting that the ratio is higher on straw. Whereas when you mix it traditionally, I end up putting more um, silage in. The other thing which interests me is normally you put in hay. And this time you put in grass. So it's cutting out another process so that you don't have to do that. So I found that quite interesting. Um, and all of that produces you 100 litres of total mix ration. So the difference that I see here is not only you don't have to mix it traditionally, which I, funny enough, I love to do. But if you've got a very large um, amount of cows, that's not sustainable. You, having a production chain is useful. Uh, so interesting this is interesting um i like the fact that i don't need to then go and create hay um i just mow the grass pick it up put it in i like that and i like that it uses more straw because i always have an abundance of straw so that's good moving on pig food um canola soybeans potatoes and wheat so normally in in some of my other ones it's oats and it's a lot more i'm having to put in a lot more um and also i need to put in corn um so this was again interesting i thought i liked that it was only four elements um so 10 liters of canola 15 liters of soybeans 50 liters of potato and 25 of wheat gives you 100 liters of pig food um so yeah I'm quite intrigued by this. The monthly cost is £48, dollars or euros, and the cycles per month is high, which again is good, 2400 This is a good mod. I like it. I think it's a good option for um, animal food. It really is. you just got to have a bit of a large space, as I said. That's, it's quite a chunky building. But we're going to move on to the next mods because I've got a few to show you. So yes, everything as far as your eye can see now is something we're going to be talking about. I know. Okay, the one in front of us here is the new grape processing plant. This is by LSMT Stefan. It is 4.70 megabytes to download. It costs 80,000 to purchase, and then the maintenance fee is 100 a day. Uh, the idea of this is the grape processing plant following the, pro uh, the products which are required for crafting grapes. It produces raisins, grape juice, and interestingly, pig food. And this is why I come straight onto this one, because who would have thought we can get pig food out of a grape processing plant? Now this one again is really simple, here's the spawn point at the front here, tipping point here. Um, 
it's quite a bold design i think the green and red i, I quite enjoy it to be honest Bit of yellow thrown in there for good measure um let's look at the banish point so 100 grapes um gives you 70 raisins 25 pig food i just find this absolutely fascinating i'm going to turn these on because i've put some grapes in um and grape juice 100 liters of grapes in 60 of grape juice out and 25 pig food so again you're getting pig food in every step it's fascinating um now what i found was quite interesting the instructions uh the um the mod hub says it's 100 euros a day this is 60 pounds so i don't know if the information is different or it's a uh, currency conversion i'm not quite sure about that um cycles per month is high as you can see on the right hand side i've pressed it on and it's already moving quite quickly it's very impressive so that is the Grape Processing Plant by LSMT Stefan. We are going to move on. Now this, in front of you, is a little bit different. And I, I, I quite like it. I, I like how different this is in comparison to what I'm used to. Now this is the old grain mill um, from, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, Bartso NV3. It is 10.90 megabytes to download. It costs only 23,000 to place. So what does it say about this? So the old mill where you can turn over your grain into flour, pig feed again, or oil seed into oil. The mill has original sounds, manual lighting, manually turning on the mill, unloading with an opening flap, spin, spinning propellers, and it is an old style. So let's have a peek, shall we? This is your pickup point. This is your tipping point. I'm um, maybe this is the spawn point over here. I would guess. Um, really nice, cute old mill. I haven't actually put anything in here, um, apart from some, some little olives and, um, I think there was some canola. Oh no, soybeans. What is interesting to me is this combines flour and oil and you get, even, you get more pig food. I'm loving all this pig food. Um, so this is quite a long list, so we're going to bash down it. So cycles per month is high, 24,000. Um, sorry, 2,400. And the cost per month is low, only £24. So you can make wheat flour, barley flour, oat flour, and sorghum flour. Five litres of wheat to four of flour. 30 of barley to 23 of flour, 15 of oat to 19 of flour, and 15 of sorghum to 16 of flour. So moving on down to the oil, even higher cycle per month, 3,600, and it does cost a little bit more, that's 60 per month, okay? So two litres of sunflower oil creates one litre of sunflower sorry sunflowers to sunflower oil canola same ratio two to one olive oil same ratio two to one and what's interesting is the cycles for sunflower and canola are exactly the same at 3600 the cycles for olive oil is lower at 1920 now interestingly you can make your piggy food in here as well as you've seen we just come from a pig food place so this is going to be interesting for you to do some combinations so in this one you need corn you need barley you need canola and you need sugar beet and that gives you 100 liters of pig food next one along a different combination uh, sorghum 
wheat, canola, and potatoes. And then finally, but not <clears throat> last, is potatoes, sorghum, barley, and soybeans. I think that's my favorite ratio, if I'm honest. Because they're relatively quick. I know wheat isn't that quick. I know potatoes aren't, but you can get a lot of potatoes out of a field. Um, I suppose it's the same with sugar beet, but sugar beet and corn, that's quite a lot of work. These are 2,160 cycles a month, and they cost £24 per month to run. So, that is the Old Grain Mill by Bart's ONV3. I apologise if I've got that wrong. Great mod. Thank you so much. So, we are moving on. I know I'm rattling through these quite quickly, but there are more than I expected this week. Um, and as I absolutely love production chains, I think this is a unique thing that I can bring to the farm sing community. So this is the agriculture input production. And this is by Designer Farming. <clears throat> it's only 2.14 megabytes to download. It costs 70,000 to place, and this production plant is dedicated to the production of mineral feed, silage, preservatives, and seeds. So you need to put in wheat, canola, soybeans, barley, liquid fertilizer, and herbicide to get the silage additive, the mineral feed, and seed. So let's take a peek. This is your tipping point, your input point, your management point, um, and here's the spawn point. Quite an interesting building. We do have a few styles like this um, already in the sort of the spinnery and the wall side. I think I had a look at one of those earlier in the week. Here's the management point. So to make mineral feed, it's 720 cycles a month high production costs 240 pounds so that's 15 liters of wheat to 15 liters of canola provides you 25 liters of mineral feed then you've got the silage additive again 720 to 240 on the production cycles and the costs 10 canola 10 soybeans gives you 15 of the additive and last but not least the seeds to produce seeds it's wheat 30 liters 15 liters of liquid fertilizer 15 liters of herbicide gives you 50 liters of seeds now this is me being really honest with you i believe there are much more cost effective ways to produce your own seeds um buying liquid fertilizer and herbicide is a big investment so for me this isn't the most cost effective way i have done a video on seeds before um, but i did want to show this to you because it's another option for mineral feed um, and also i'm excited to see an option for silage additive but i wouldn't use this for the seeds this though very cool very cool indeed um, so that is the agricultural input production by design farming we are going to move on and what is this <laughs> this is another potato production plant Yes, you heard me, another potato production plant. Now, I quite like this because the production plants that we've had have been very modern. Now, this brings quite a nice traditional oldie woldy feel to it. Now, the author of this mod is Jason, aka JRock. It is 6.37 megabytes to download. And let me read out the description. This will produce boxes of potato products such as chips and fries when you put the ingredients into it. Generic sell point for all products included with this mod, just in case you don't have a generic selling point installed. 
Um, it costs 50,000 to place. Let's have a peek. So here's a spawn point. Here's your input point. I quite like this. I love that there's just a load of potatoes. Oh, I can stand on them. I think it's cool. Um, it looks used, which again is quite nice. It's not shiny and I love the windows at the top. This is the water point, which again I think is very cool. It's nice detailing. Let's have a look. Apologies for the saving. So we can, as you heard by the description, we can do two things. We've got potato chips and we've got potato fries. So to make potato chips, we need 30 litres of potatoes, 20 litres of canola oil and 20 litres of water. And that provides you 40 litres of potato chips. Only 600 cycles a month, but it only costs 24 uh, pounds a month so it's a low cost relatively low cycles but it could be lower it could be much lower now for potato fries if you don't want to produce canola oil or you're not currently producing canola oil uh, you can skip that 30 liters of potato 20 liters of water gives you 40 liters of potato fries quite an enjoyable little mod i think this could be an option for me when i'm doing potatoes it's not high cost it provides a different option and you know me i do like different options i love different options so what's next what's next is this one behind us and it is a monster it is a monster the including this building guys including this building and all of this over here so what is it you ask me don't worry i'm gonna tell you it is the grain complex by didx96 it is quite a large file but as you can see it's a big complex 24.52 megabytes to download let's read what the description is Grain complex with four Uina silos with total capacity of 600,000 litres. It includes a hall where crops can also be stored and can also be used to saw machines. I like that. So, let's have a proper look, shall we? So, as you can see, you've got the massive silos at the back. We have the drop off point the tip point we have the pickup point I just think this is absolutely beautiful work by the modder absolutely stunning I apologize my tree is coming through it um, and then this side this was the part which I found was a little bit of a bonus if I'm honest look at all this space two door entry so if you wanted some extra room and you wanted the grain mill but you also wanted a shed this is pretty cool this is pretty cool and this is quite a nice yard space as well um yeah i just think it's a little bit different you know i wonder if i can climb up this oh no the same lights on though Oh, the lights the other side and I've just ah uh, yeah there are the lights there look lights off lights on oh yeah that's nice lighting lights off very cool um yeah I I think this is quite an interesting option of course you need a large space it's quite a commitment but if you as I say if you're looking for a shed area as well as a grain mill why not why not so guys this was my weekly review um, or show and tell should we say 
I think it's more of a show and tell. I haven't used all of the mods, so I can't give you a direct review. Um, so this is my show and tell <laughs> of the production chains for this gone week. I hope you found this useful. If you did, um, please let me know in the comments. I would be really interested to see what your thoughts are on me doing this weekly. Um, and as this grape processing was the one which I did put a lot of grapes in, I wanted to show you the outcome. Look at this. We have some raisins. We have quite a lot of grape juice. Let's pop that there. There we go. Sweetest taste. I love that. And around here you can see some pig food. So that's quite a phenomenal rate. We haven't been that long, have we? Have I been talking that long, guys? I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, 2,400... Uh, cycles it is it is moving it is moving fast um, the raisins I would probably have set to distributing um, because we can use those in the cereal oopsie but yeah this is this is awesome so cool to see I love seeing a new production chain I love that we're getting another output the pig food if you have pigs it can be quite a chore to keep putting in them the work to get the pig food um so yes it, this is this has won my heart um if like me you're not a big 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 grape producer um and find it quite difficult there are other options and i'm just going to show them to you whilst i'm here um, so if you go to productions and greenhouses, you now have the option um, to produce, where are they? I apologise everyone. Here we go. So here, this is the fruit greenhouse. So if you put in herbicide seeds, liquid fertiliser and water, you will get either grapes or olives, whatever you choose. So that's pretty cool. The other option here is the grape orchard so you place that down i'll pop it oh let me put it here okay let me run in here and show you i should do a video on this but as you know these aren't grapes here that's olives but traditionally you have your rows of your vines Instead, this mod allows you to just place, put in inputs, and you have your spawn point. Um, so if you go to the manage point, all you need to do is put in water to get grapes. Or you can up the ante, put in um, water, manure, and seeds. Or water, manure, and solid fertilizer. What is interesting is it only costs two, month, two pounds a month to produce, which I love. I'm very happy with that. The cycles, if you put in more, are at 48. If you only use water, it's 24. So there is some benefit to putting in extra, which again, I like. It's not encompassing, it's quite small. Um, and roughly a thousand litres a month it'll produce. So for that great processing plant, that's a hungry, hungry monkey. So that would need a lot more than this. This one over here is one of the greenhouses that I talked to you about. This is one here. You can see it's got the grapes inside. Um, what I'm actually missing herbicide in here. You can see there's water, there's seeds, there's solid fertilizer. Herbicide is really expensive to buy, so you do need money in your pocket to make this worthwhile and manageable. Why did I close that? But let me just show this to you. So for grapes, you need 100 litres of water, 100 litres of seed, 100 litres of solid fertiliser, and 100 litres of herbicide. And that produces 500 litres of grapes. Again, I think that ratio is incredible. And I'm telling you now, it goes like lightning. Um, the cycles per month is 240 the production cost is high 
480. Um, now, olives, also the same ratios, also the same cycles, also the same production point, um, cost, sorry. And this is what that one looks like over here, just to show you while we're here. Why not? And the spawn points are on the side. And they come out in, I believe it's a thousand litres, maybe two thousand. In my mind, I'm not quite sure now. Um, but anyway, as you know, I love a production chain. And hopefully this video has given you some food for thought. Um, it certainly has produced a excellent week. Thank you to all the modders. Please comment to see if this was useful. I really want to know if this is something you would like to see weekly. If it is, I'll keep doing it. If it's not, it saves me a job. Um, but you know how much I love a production chain. I'm hoping to inspire you to expand your farming simulator journeys. And uh, most of all, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Have a great day.